Hello, my name is Summer Weeks. I am currently a 10th grader at Francis T. Maloney High School in Connecticut, and I'm the creator of Peace and Gary Quality, which honors unsung hero Dr. Gunnar Dubois. <laughs> you would ask me five questions. So first question was, what things and skills did you take from your classroom to create this artwork? Um, freshman year, I took advanced photography with one of my art teachers. And in advanced photography, I learned a lot about perspective. And in this piece, perspective is really important for me to use because Dr. Gunnar Dubois is definitely older, but I didn't want to show like his age in my piece. I wanted to use perspective to show that he's wise. So definitely perspective was something that was really important to use. Question number two, um, what did it mean to you personally to celebrate an unsung hero who made advances and brought awareness to something that plays a role in your identity? Um, Honoring Dr. Gunnar Dubois was really important to me because autism is something that I will have for the rest of my life. And choosing him as my unsung hero gives me a chance to get my voice out there the way he got his voice out there. It makes me feel like I'm doing something for my community as somebody with autism and also for the community of people with mental disabilities. I've known I've had Asperger's syndrome, which is a high functioning form of autism since I was in third grade. And, um, I, I'm really aware of how it affects me, and I think that I know how to stop things from triggering it, and um, I just know when it's affecting me. And through research, researching Dr. Gerda Blood, I learned a lot more about it. So that means a lot to me honoring him too, because um, I'm able to understand myself better now because of him. Question number three, what made you select your medium? Um, my normal medium is usually colored pencil. Using paint isn't really my thing, and I've never made a mixed media piece before. I actually have it right here. <laughs> um, if I turn it over, you can see there's layers to it, like the bow tie sticks up, and I can pick up Dr. Garnablot's head. And there are also layers to the mat board. Um, yeah, I've never done a, a mixed media piece before, so I really wanted to like step out my boundaries, see if I could create something great with that. And... Um, mixed media was really important for this piece because for the suit, I didn't want it to be flat. I wanted to have that realistic feel to it. So the, the tie and the lapel, for example, they stand out more, whereas the shirt weighs flat because that's how a, <laughs> a real suit would fit someone. So yeah, I definitely branched out with this more and I wanted to try something different rather than just sticking with colored pencil. For this, I used collage, origami, watercolor, acrylic paint. I did all sorts of stuff. Question number four. Um, oh. <laughs> How did you decide it? These were the visuals you wanted. The visuals on my piece, I really wanted the puzzle pieces to stick out the most because um, because I have autism. I wanted that to be like the what the viewer should take away most from looking at my piece. I kept Dr. Gunnar de Bois black and white along with the background because I didn't want to take it away from the suit because the suit has three parts to it, which all are awareness pieces of the logos of three mental disabilities. Um, the suit being autism, the shirt being Down syndrome, and the bow tie being cerebral palsy. Last question is what do you want to do in the future as an art teacher and how do you want to impact your future students? My art teachers, Jessica Sperry and Amanda Strom, have taught me so much in my last year at this school and they're so accepting and supportive and they always welcome everyone with open arms. I just want to be like that for my students someday. I want to be there for them when they need someone and at the end of the year I don't want them to feel like they didn't learn anything or only art. I want them to feel like they learn life lessons or they learn more about each other and the world and themselves. I really want my students someday to feel like they've learned something because I know through my two art teachers I've definitely learned so much and I can't thank them enough for it. <laughs> Thank you.